the reactions of fats and oils are related to the chemical structure of triacylglycerol ester bonds and also to the carbon-carbon double bond present on the fatty acids. We will discuss the hydrogenation of the double bond of fatty acid and the hydrolysis of the ester bonds. The catalytic hydrogenation of fatty acids is the addition of hydrogen to the alkene carbon-carbon double bond in the presence of a metal catalyst such as nickel or platinum. This process is the basis for the conversion of plant oils into margarine and other products. For some time, margarine has been considered a more healthy dietary fat than butter, but recent evidence shows that in the process of partial hydrogenation, some of the double bond become a single bond, some of the double bond remains as cis double bond. However, some of the double bond gets isomerized, transforming into trans double bonds. Fatty acids with trans double bonds have physical properties much more like those of saturated fatty acids. There is evidence that trans unsaturated fatty acids raise blood cholesterol levels more than cis unsaturated fatty acids. Because trans fats are banned in United States, food industry now is using a different alternative the mixing together of natural saturated and unsaturated triacylglycerols allows the production of products with the desired texture and content of saturated and unsaturated fatty acids. Cooking oils and fatty meats can become rancid, developing unpleasant odors and flavors. Rancidity is due to the combination of two different reactions. The first one is the hydrolysis of the ester bond by enzymes, and the second one is the oxidation of the carbon-carbon double bond on unsaturated fatty acids. Bacterial hydrolysis of the ester bonds releases carboxylic acids with foul taste and others. The second form of rancidity is the oxidation of the carbon-carbon double bond. Air oxidation of carbon-carbon double bonds is due to both oxygen and ozone. The concentration of ozone in the atmosphere is a lot lower than the concentration of oxygen. However, ozone is more powerful oxidant that can produce free radicals. When temperature and concentration of ozone are high, the unsaturated lipid components of membranes that line up the air passages and lungs undergo oxidative damage. The oxidation of carbon-carbon double bonds is largely responsible for the respiratory distress in the elderly and others with compromised lung function during periods of environmental ozone alerts. Triglycerides undergo hydrolysis at the ester bonds to produce one unit of glycerol and three fatty acids. Because the molecules of triglycerides are too large, they cannot diffuse through the membranes in the intestine. They need to be hydrolyzed by enzymes named lipases. Similar reaction of hydrolysis can take place in the lab by use of acid or by the use of a base. We have seen hydrolysis of esters in the organic chemistry part, but we're going to do a little review in basic conditions. First, we are adding a molecule of water to the carbonyl, and we are breaking the carbon-oxygen single bond. We add the OH to the carbonyl and the hydrogen to the alcohol part. The initial product, carboxylic acid, 
will continue reacting with the base sodium hydroxide to produce a free alcohol and a carboxylate salt. The same reaction that we have seen with one simple ester, the hydrolysis using basic conditions, can also take place with triglycerides. Saponification is the base promoted hydrolysis of fats and oils producing glycerol and a mixture of fatty acid salts called soap. The crude mixture contains soap, excess of base, and glycerol, and it can be precipitated by adding a strong solution of sodium chloride. The soaps that we use contain small amounts of other materials, such as perfumes, deodorants, skin moisturizers, and colorants. Soaps are amphipathic because the carboxylate part is hydrophilic and mixed with water, and the long hydrocarbon chain of the fatty acids is hydrophobic. This property is what allows soap to remove grease from our skins. Amphipathic molecules are said to have a hydrophilic head and a hydrophobic tail. The hydrophilic head is represented by a circle and the hydrophobic tail is represented by a wavy line. The hydrophobic tails of soap has high affinity for the greasy dirt and the carboxylic acid groups heads have high affinity for molecules of water. Soap molecules, being attracted strongly to both dirt and water, break up the dirt particles into smaller particles that get trapped inside what is called a micelle. A micelle is an aggregation of fatty acids placing the hydrophobic tails in the inner part and the hydrophilic heads in contact with molecules of water.